Welcome everybody. This is beautiful Brenda Lee. I'm Brian Reed. We're with Horses Know the Way Home and today we're here to talk about Jennifer Oiko's Telesummit series where she's brought in some of the top experts in the world who are practicing equine guided modalities, whether it's equine guided learning, equine guided teaching, equine guided therapy, equine guided healing, equine guided growth, horses guiding humans on their path of being a human, from their human being to their human becoming. Today, so I don't get this wrong, we have uh, today's interview, we have Dewey Freeman and Joan Riger of the Gestalt Equine Institute of the Rockies, and they're going to talk about Gestalt Equine Therapy, the relational art of making healing contact with self, horse, and other. And they're brought to us through this Tele Summit series that Jennifer Oiko with Heal with a Horse is presenting the entire month of April. I'm here just to tell you a little bit about today's interview. What's Gestalt therapy? What is Gestalt therapy with horses? That's what I was asking when I looked at the interview today. I said, here we go. Maybe I'll finally figure out what that word means because I've heard Gestalt therapy enough times. Well, thank you, Dewey. Thank you, Joan. I now at least feel more confidence that I have an idea of what gestalt therapy is. For anybody listening, it's, and I won't repeat what Dewey repeated because I won't be able to. So I'm going to give my best interpretation. Any trauma or any block we have in the patterns of our lives happened in relationship. And it is only in relationship that we can interrupt those patterns, interrupt, disturb those blocks, or move them towards away from what doesn't matter and towards what does. And Dewey and Joan talk about one of the most effective ways is to do it with a horse. And they talked about four specific ways of getting back into relationship so that you can heal and grow and move. The four ways that Dewey talks about, he says, it starts with contact, with touch. When I'm working with a client, I'll always have a client come back to Brenda and just feel right up here between her legs, between these massive muscles, just to have your hand there between two 400 slabs of muscles, incredible. However, the contrast is the skin is like velvet. And once a person gets their hand there, ah, the touch, the softness, the power, the incredible contact touch. And then Dewey talks about contact equals connection. You can have contact, this is contact, but it's not touch. When I do this and I feel it in my hands, ah, that's the touch. When I feel the softness of the velvety skin, uh, when I go, oh yes, my hand's there, yes, yes, that's not contact. So if you have contact over time, that gives you connection. Then connection, being to being, over time, equals relationship, and then relationship over time equals intimacy, and that idea of getting to a place where we can feel intimacy so we can become intimate with ourselves, so we can become vulnerable, because when we're vulnerable folks, when we've dropped all the fences and defenses and guards, all that's left is all that we are, and that's the only power we ever truly have. Heaven forbid somebody has a relationship with one of our fences or defenses, and we're behind going, no, that's no, not me. Please don't form a relationship with that. Don't worry. The horses, they will never form a relationship with that. They will always form a relationship with the person behind the mask because that's the only true relationship they can have. Joan talks about the art form, the art form of relationship or the art form of gestalt. And I know what she means. This is not a system you can apply, even though those that those contact, connection, relationship, intimacy, gives you a framework. When you have a client, it's our first touch here, touch with the client. And then there's a relationship between the horse, the facilitator, and the client. And the art of using this energy to move this client away from what doesn't matter, from patterns that no longer serve, to what does matter, and patterns that do serve, there's an artwork there. You cannot go in there with a system. 
but you can go in there with play. You can go in there with intimacy. You can go in there with love and compassion and empathy and let the horse be the lead. And I love the idea of being comfortable not knowing. Actually, not only being comfortable not knowing, knowing <laughs> that not knowing is the state you want to be in. So if you catch yourself knowing that a red light goes off going, mm, I'm not going to be effective here. And not knowing, that's what's great about the horse. If I'm a facilitator, a coach, therapist, and I'm talking to the client, the client is always measuring themselves against what they think I may be thinking about them. But when they're with the horse, they're not worried about what the horse is thinking about them because the horse is not judging them. The horse is accepting them as they are in the moment. And they feel that at the depth of their being, beyond their thoughts, I'm accepted. I'm not being judged by a horse that I could, I could bring all my knowings to the horse. It won't mean a thing. And in that place of not knowing, where play is, where intimacy really takes place, that's where the horse, we have to catch up to the horse, as Dewey will say. That's why we call it Horses Know the Way Home. They're already home. They're already at that place. They can show us back to that place to the, where home, where it's safe, where you can be vulnerable, where you can be intimate, where you can play, where you can explore and expand and create. And Joan, the way you described it, and Dewey, the way you describe what you do, I get it. Now I know what Gestalt Equine Therapy is. Thank you so much. I look forward to having more conversations with you. I look forward to, if you're going to be in Denver at the symposium that uh, Jennifer's put together, I look forward to meeting you there. And I want to thank Jennifer for bringing all these people together, especially Dewey and Joan. I enjoyed this today tremendously. If anybody here is listening, wants to listen to this interview, go to horsesknowthewayhome.com slash healing. You can download it for the next 48 hours. You can buy the entire 30 interviews at horsesknowthewayhome.com slash healing for, I believe it's $99. Don't put me on it. Um, valuable chunks of information you can get and put on your bookshelves if you use horses to help humans in any way. Hands down. I have never seen anything condensed with such variety, such access to so many different people. Jennifer, you know I keep saying thank you. I'm going to say it again and again and again. Thank you. Have a good day, folks.